Hi everyone, so I have BB Figure Pro Jennifer Strobo here for Bombshell Fitness uh, bringing you another Nutrition Kitchen helpful tip. A couple things, everyone says I'm following my food plan and I just don't understand why I'm not making progress. I never eat anything that I shouldn't eat, just all my clean food. That usually tells me that something's not right because when you say I just eat all the clean food, maybe you're eating a little bit extra when you shouldn't be. One thing you may not be thinking about is how you measure your foods. Your food plan clearly states that you should have three ounces or four ounces of maybe a protein, your carbohydrates, it will measure things in cups, uh, one cup or a third of a cup. You wanna make sure that you're measuring everything properly. A Couple things that you'll wanna make sure that you have, you wanna make sure that you have a good digital scale because a digital scale will tell you exactly how much your food is weighing in ounces, 3.2 or 4.5. You're definitely gonna wanna make sure that it zeroes right out and tells you exactly that amount. The other scales that are non-digital, the analog ones where it has the little line, sometimes you're looking around trying to see what it measures and it's never going to be quite accurate and this could hold you back from meeting your goals. You'll also want to make sure that you have a good set of measuring cups. I think I've got them in every shape, size, color and I, because I use them every week for my meal prep, it's just nice to have them around and then you make sure that you're not guessing on your measurements and always some good measuring spoons so that you can measure your oils, your vinegars and your peanut butter. A couple things on how to do your measure measurements correctly. First of all, say for oatmeal or your oats in the morning, you want to make sure that you're leveling off your measuring cups. Measuring cups are not designed to see how much you can get in the cup. You want to not pack it down and you don't want to round it up. You're just going to want to scoop up your oatmeal and take a little something. You can use your finger or maybe a knife and just go straight across the top of that measuring cup. Now you've got exactly one third of a cup of oats in that oatmeal. For maybe sweet potatoes, you're going to want to make sure that you go ahead and prep them, slice them up, you've got your digital scale turned on, make sure that it's on ounces and make sure that it's on zero. Um, I always make sure that it's zeroed out right before I start and then I take my selection of sweet potatoes, I set it on here and it needs a little bit more and that's right at three ounces. That way I'm not going over or under. I don't want to shortchange myself on a carbohydrate or maybe some protein that I need. But I also don't want to go over because a calorie is a calorie and you still have to burn it. And you don't want to have to work even harder than you already are. What some people don't understand is maybe measuring up how much it affects you at the end of the week. Say if you measure four of your meals of chicken instead of four ounces, you go for 4.2 ounces. That extra two tenths of an ounce could really add up. At the end of the week, doing that for four meals, you've already got an extra 250 calories in just chicken. If you do your oatmeal and you measure your one-third of a cup, a little bit rounded up, and it's going to equal almost a half a cup, that's an extra 350 calories at the end of the week. Now you've got 600 more calories that your body has to burn by the time you've gotten to Saturday. And now you want to go and have your cheat or reward meal, and that's another seven or 800 calories on top of that. If you add up to about 1,500 extra calories during the end of the week, you've got that one pound of body fat that you've been trying to work so hard to lose that you're just not going to be able to do. Now, the biggest problem I think you all have, and I know I did too, is my peanut butter. I love peanut butter and I do get it on my plan at times. So when you've got it, you want to make sure that you're not going overboard with it. Make sure that you stick to your plan and follow it. The best way to measure your peanut butter is you're going to stick your measuring spoon right, in, right into the jar and then drag it right across the top. If it doesn't seem like it's full, just go back in there and then level it off again. Make sure it's 100% level, like so. One tablespoon of peanut butter is gonna be about 105 calories, 100 calories, depending on which brand you've picked out. If you round it up, you could add up to another 50 calories. If you round way up, you could add up to almost another 100 calories in just that setting. At the end of the week, you've got another six or 700 calories that you've added onto your plan. This is really gonna hold you back. In fact, it's gonna take you backwards in your, in your progress. So, next time when you're doing your meal prep, make sure you've got everything measured out correctly and you won't be held back from meeting your goals and I know that you'll hit them much faster. Until next time, see you later.